Hey, what's up? This is Evan from Podpeak. In this video, I'm going to show you how I remove background noise, hiss, or low rumble frequencies from my podcast audio using Reaper. So oftentimes I'm recording interviews in different places where controlling the background noise can be challenging to say the least. So I'm going to play a short audio clip from a recent interview I did. The space where the audio was recorded was a conference room with some outside noise filtering through the windows as well as some air duct slash low rumble noise. Let's take a listen. Yeah, I'll probably get better at this as I go, but I'm, you know, my challenge is to to do all these interviews, but then craft it into a 20 minute episode. Yeah. So the background noise is pretty noticeable. This is definitely something I'd want to clean up if possible. So in Reaper, there's a great noise reduction tool called Reefer. It's simple to operate, and if used carefully, it can greatly improve the sound quality of your audio. Uh, so let me show you how it's done. So I'm going to insert an instance of Reefer onto the track. I'm going to go into my effects, and I'm going to go down to where I have it stored, which is Tools, and I'm going to click on Reefer. And there it is. It's pretty simple looking. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find a quiet space where there's not a lot of talking. And that happened uh, during the beginning uh, of, the, uh, of the talking. So let me just zoom in onto this part. Now I'm going to loop this section right here to listen. So let me just draw in a loop and let's just take a listen. So I'm actually just going to go where there's no knocking on the table. So just right here, actually. Let's... Okay, that'll work. So now I'm going to set reefer up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the mode and you want to change it from EQ to subtract because we're going to be subtracting the bad frequencies that we don't want. The next thing you're going to do is go up to here where it says points smooth, click on that and hit precise. Then go over here to the right and change this to 1024 and then come over here and hit reset. And then check this box, automatically build no noise profile and I'm going to click that. So now I'm going to play the loop and Reefer will analyze the frequencies that need to be removed. Okay, so it has analyzed those frequencies. And now let's listen back from the top. I'll probably get better at this as I go, but I'm, you know, my challenge is to, to do all these interviews, but then craft it into a 20 minute episode. Yeah. I'll probably get better at this as I go, but I'm, you know, my challenge is to, to do all these interviews, but then craft it into a 20 minute episode. Yeah. I think I've got it in a pretty good spot. So let's listen to it without. Yeah, I'll probably get better at this as I go, but I'm, and let's listen to it with the effect on again. Yeah, I'll probably get better at this as I go, but I'm without. Yeah, I'll probably get better with. I'll probably get better at this as I go, but I'm... So as you can see, it makes a pretty big difference. Uh, you have to be careful with Reefer because it does degrade the audio. Uh, so you just have to find that middle ground uh, where it sounds pretty good, uh, but without degrading the audio too much. All right, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment below. And if you have any questions about podcast editing or working in Reaper, Feel free to send me an email at evan at podpeak.com. All right, take care. Bye.